Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. Thank you very much for subscribing and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already and you're a Wolves fan, then make sure you do press that subscribe button so you don't miss any further updates as the season is starting in five days' time, which is really, really exciting for me. Please excuse this mess over here as well as I'm still moving in. Bit of transfer news going out of the club today. Lee Evans has joined Wigan on loan for the season, which personally I think is a great move for him. He's going to be dropping down into League One with them and... I expect he'll be a key part of that team. And if he is going to have any sort of future at the Wolves, he's got to really impress there this season. Personally, I don't see him having a future at the Wolves. I do quite like him as a player. Some of his passing is quite ambitious. But when you've got somebody like Ruben Neves coming in with his passing, it really makes Lee Evans look really, really poor. In terms of other transfer news going out, there's been stories rumbling on through the whole of the pre-season about Danny Bart and who he's going to or if he's going to be staying at the Wolves. Now today there have been stories that Villa, Hull and Sheffield Wednesday are all interested in signing him, which are quite high calibre championship teams. If you think about how we th feel about Danny Barton, from what we see week in, week out, it's surprising to see three teams who we all expect to finish in the top six or seven all chasing Danny Barton. Now I don't know how true that rumour is, it's from the Sports Mole website, which has been fairly accurate at various times through the summer, but... We'll wait and see on that one. Some transfer news coming in then. Start off with Andre Gray. There's been rumours been going around for the last couple of days uh, and Wolves are now the favourites on Sky Bet to sign Andre Gray, or they were at least a couple of hours ago. £20 million has been rumoured for that transfer. Now, if you consider all the money we've spent this summer, that would take it up to something near 40 or £50 million, which is amazing for a, prim uh, for a championship team. So I doubt this deal is going to go through. Pat Murphy from the BBC has tweeted to say that there's no chance of this move happening because of the sheer cost of it. Burnley looking to get £20 million for them. But we had him as a youngster before he moved on to Shrewsbury. So there is some sort of connection there, a historic connection. But Wolves are more likely, Pat Murphy said, to be looking at Sam Gallagher from Southampton on a loan deal. Wolves desperately need a striker. Absolutely paramount for the next couple of days before the Middlesbrough game because going into that game if Dicko's injured and we've got to go with Bright and Ibukari up front I really really I'm gonna well but there is some light at the end of the tunnel Leo Bonatini from the Saudi Arabian side Al Hilal apparently has had a medical last night at Compton now, we were expecting an announcement today, but that's yet to come. He played quite well in the Portuguese league a couple of seasons ago, scoring 17 goals for Estoril. He's another sort of unknown player. He's got some history in Europe. He's only 23 years old. He's a Brazilian player who everybody's seen. He's very good on FIFA, but we all know that doesn't really mean anything. So it'd be interesting to see what happens there. I, personally, if he's the only option at the moment, to get him in because... Bright looked, I don't, he doesn't look like a striker to me. There's a couple of times where you thought, I hit it first time, have a go. But he hasn't got quite that killer instinct that we need as a striker. We need somebody who can lead the line. As I said on Saturday as well, the balls that were coming in from Barry Douglas, there was nobody getting on the end of those balls and making them into something. And a final bit of news regarding tickets for the Middlesbrough game. They have all been sold out. Middlesbrough have sold their section. We've sold all of our seats as well. It's going to be... A, it, incredible atmosphere to welcome in all these fantastic players and Nuno of course to the club and really be the start now of the Fosun era. I think last year was a bit of a rehearsal for this season. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for lots more Wolves and football related content as tomorrow I'm going to do a Premier League predictions video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.